What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to go over a proportion word problem, right? I have a few other videos on proportions and other word problems, but this one's a little bit more complicated. So we're going to do this one on its own. All right, so this one says, after eating 25% of the jelly beans, Brett had 72 left. How many did he have originally? Okay, so what does our problem tell us here? So it says that he ate 25% of them, right? So he ate 25% of them. So that means he didn't eat 75% of them, right? Or that's what we have left. We still have 75% of our jelly beans left, all right? Now, what else does the problem tell us? It also tells us that our bro right here has 72 pieces left, right? So in order to set up this proportion, we're gonna have to, again, Proportions are just fractions, okay? So under this 75% right here, we're gonna put 72, okay? Why are we putting the 72 here and not here? Well, because we have 75% of our pieces left. And how many pieces is that? That's 72 pieces, okay? And then here, we know he ate 25% of the pieces, but we don't know how many pieces that is, right? The problem doesn't tell us that. That's what we're trying to figure out. So we're gonna have to just put a variable here. We'll just put n for number of pieces eaten, okay? Now, in order to set up our proportion, we just have to set these equal to each other, right? But one last thing we have to do is we can't have these percent signs right here, okay? We need to change these percents into decimals first, okay? So in order to change 25% into a decimal, that's just gonna be 0 0.25, okay? 25% as a decimal is 0 0.25. And again, that's gonna be over N, and then we're gonna set that equal to this other proportion right here, 75% uh, is 0 0.75, sorry, that's a little messy, over 72, okay? Now, in order to solve for this variable right here, we can just cross multiply, okay? So remember, cross multiplying just involves literally cross multiplying like that and like that, all right? So first of all, here we have 0 0.25 times 72, okay, 0 0.25 times 72 and then we're going to set that equal to our other cross right here 0 0.75 times n 0 0.75 times n okay now we're going to uh, simplify some stuff here so 0 0.25 times 72 that's equal to 18 and then that's going to be equal to 0 0.75 times n all right let's scroll down a little bit Okay, now in order to isolate this variable right here, n, we have to get rid of the 0 0.75. So in order to do that, since we're multiplying right here, in order to undo that, we need to divide by 0 0.75, right? And what we do to one side, we do to the other. Okay, so then on this side, the 0 0.75s cancel out. So we're just left with n right here. So we get n is equal to 18 divided by 0 0.75, which is equal to 24. Okay, so we just figured out how many pieces he ate. He ate 24 pieces, okay? But the problem, remember, asks how many did he have originally? Or in other words, what was the total amount before, right? So he ate 24 pieces, and then he had 72 left, right? After he ate those 24 pieces. So 72 is equal to what he had left. So in total, we would have 24 plus 72, right? 24 plus. 72, which is equal to 96 pieces. So that's how many pieces he had originally. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.